Mix stocking your tilapia fish pan. Okay, for most persons that will be watching this video, they, they want to find out more about, um, you know, keeping breeding, trading in tilapia cichlid, food fish, right? Uh, these, these series of videos on tilapia was done primarily aimed at uh, Jamaica per se, really. But I know that it is of, um, you know, really interest to others outside of Jamaica because um several persons have asked me to um you know focus on tilapia focus on something jamaican so i took it upon myself to just start to do some tilapia fish breeding i'm going to be getting back to the aquarium fish um hobby um in a in a few weeks time uh, so just, just bear with me all right so today we're looking at mixed stock now um so you have your your your, your tilapia fish pond whether it be a uh, one acre half acre you know a tote like mines a, a two thousand gallon um vat whatever you have right and you're going to be stocking it with uh fries or should i say fingerlings right in which you have purchased and these fingerlings are not uh monosex they you know they are able to reproduce now looking at the this 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 clip in which i got from the supermarket this is one of the possibilities that you may face as both the buyer and as a trader if you actually practice the whole idea of mix tilapia um, stocking within your ponds. Now, obviously, the tilapia within this, um, you know, these packets are female. And also, obviously, there has been a great amount of competition for food within the space in which they actually once lived as a result of that uh the the, the tilapia as you see right now they are underweight they are small but at the same time uh they are aged meaning that they are six months eight months right so if you want your tilapia stock to actually grow huge you know having a lot of meat weighing a lot getting more money per pound you understand you know you know you, know, you, you really make a profit i suggest although you might have male and females after a while you'll be able to identify the males and the females the females will be much smaller in the pond and the males will be much larger so even if you do not practice the whole idea of feeding your fish testosterone you can actually physically right visually identify the females so after about three months you actually do uh, well practically every month you do your little observation and you remove the smaller ones the ones that look smaller than the others or if the ones that look larger seem to be more you remove them and you place them into a separate space allow the, them to actually live or should i say yeah to stay or swim within spaces of that has fish similar it's similar in size to them or else you're gonna have problems like later on if you do keep a uh, male and female tilapia together uh, swimming in the same space and you have small spaces like i do you know 250 gallon tote um, probably you might have a 2000 gallon um vat what you're gonna find is that they are gonna breed because they start breed from as early as uh two and a half three inches right and they are gonna flood your system with babies and your system is gonna crash your system is gonna choke and chances are everything might die eventually because there will be too much small tilapia in that space because none is actually growing like how you would want them to do because they are actually competing for food for oxygen for space to live so a lot of cannibalism will occur within that space right what i've discovered and nobody had to tell me this but um i have discovered by just um experiencing um my few uh, years with tilapia cichlid is that the more fish you keep in a space the more tilapia fish you keep in a space is the is the less weight it actually has so my 250 gallon tote um if i was serious about keeping tilapia as um food fish you know farming tilapia as food fish i would not keep more than 
12 tilapia in a 250 gallon 350 gallon um um plastic tote right so i would have to have probably several hundred probably two dozen or three dozen in tote so as to be able to manage the stock in which i've had over the the couple of years and with this arrangement what i would have found is that my tilapia would have actually grown to like 12 inches 15 inches having one being like all uh, five pounds six pounds or even more right in weight right so you have to be very careful and mindful of that and don't fall into the trap of you know you're, you're trying to breed as much to keep as much you only breed what you need you only breed at the time what you need to breed and do your careful calculation as to okay the next six months i am going to be using the fish in that container right so if you want you can calculate you can have six different tubs right so at the end of each month you will have a tub to reap right but don't try to have everything in one tub to reap everything one time your system will crash this this is just what i have to tell you regarding keeping tilapia as food fish thank you for listening have a wonderful day thank you for watching peace out